Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about this super short wipe that we have been gifted by Battlestate Games. I think it's a really good thing for Tarkov, and we'll talk about why. This is going to be an audio-only experience here today, so feel free to put me in the background, sort your stash, start loading into raid, doing something else, or if you're just driving to work, whatever, still appreciate you all the same. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like, make sure you're subscribing to the channel if you are new around here, and real quick, I have been playing Starfield still. I am not going to change that, it's probably going to be a lot more degenerate hours put into Starfield. I think I'm at like 28.9 hours or something, and it came out like two or three days ago. I haven't seen grass in a week, my friends, but seriously, I missed the Tarkov upload last night, I was just grinding, and you know, I felt kind of bad about it. So if you guys have video suggestions of something fairly simple i'm not gonna make a 40 minute shoreline loop guide but if you want some sort of tip with the video made for it something that other creators aren't talking about you can drop that in the comments on any video at any time doesn't just have to be when i'm uh, slacking up a little bit you can drop that at any time and i'll always consider it you know i read almost every single one of my comments all the idiots that comment shit all the amazing comments you guys leave me and everything in between. I read all that shit. So if your favorite cookie is an Oreo, I'll still drop a heart on it. But, you know, there's there's probably some better cookies out there that you could grab. So now that we milked the intro for a minute and a half and I told you guys I'm a bad content creator because I have no original content ideas because I'm too busy with Starfield. Let's talk about this short wipe. I think this is an amazing thing for Escape from Tarkov. And the reason is because we have had some of the longest wipes in history lately. I mean, I think it was eight months. I don't know the exact math, like 225 days or something like that. It has been an absolute insane run of extremely long wipes, usually one in the summer and one in the winter. This is going to be the first time we had a really late wipe because it extended so long, and now because of that, the other wipe was already slated in a timeline by Battlestate Games. This puts this wipe at, you know, around the four months range. Maybe if it gets extended a little bit, you're looking at five months, but still, four to five months for a wipe is extremely, extremely short. I've been asking for this for years. I have wanted four-month wipes. I wanted three wipes a year because it keeps the game alive, it keeps the game fresh, and that beginning of wipe content when it comes to just great gunfights and having a lot of shit to do again, having a lot of items to collect, having a lot of items to sell, a lot better interactions on your scav runs, you know, just everything in general. And when I say content, I don't mean like content creation. I mean, just shit to do. There's a lot of content for you to absorb again, because as you progress into a wipe, you do your task, you have money, you don't need to do the hideout. Now, there becomes a lot less incentive and just tedious task and just fucking busy work if you want to put it that way but that's what keeps us going in tarkov it gives us a small objective to work towards while we get to enjoy the core gameplay experience and i've been asking for these short wipes for years if we have three wipes a year i think it'll help the game out tremendously because there was a point in this last wipe where i don't think anyone was playing the game I watch my views on my channel, and when I don't upload, usually I'll still get a few thousand views every single day, but there was multiple days in that last wipe where it was like eight months long, seven months long, where I was getting maybe 300 views a day. That just tells me that when it comes to casual players engaging in the game, engaging in content, searching for things, and learning how to do things, it's next to none, and the only people left playing the game are you know, the super chads, the cheaters, and the streamers. So when it comes to having multiple wipes, you know, it makes more money for Battlestate games. Us, as the community in general, are a lot happier. There's some people that don't like wipes. I get it. And when the game fully releases into a stable build, there will be servers that don't wipe. But as of right now, the game needs wipes to survive because it's one of the only games that has survived the test of time as a Escape from Tarkov genre because it is the main game that started the genre of Escape from Tarkov. Other games that have tried wipes have absolutely failed. Now, I don't know too much about Dark and Darker. I know that game just wiped. You guys can let me know in the comments if that's been successful or not. But for example, The Cycle Frontier, after that game wiped, it fell off a cliff. And now, you know, I think it has two months left and then it gets shut down permanently. That might even be this month. It's September or November. So, you know, it's kind of like we need short wipes, in my opinion, because it keeps the interest and it keeps us happier. If we could wipe every four months, you know, 
we could have these great loot spawns. This this highly increased loot table that we got this wipe. Oh my god, was it so good. In the first week, I found four or three Bitcoins. I was it was crazy. I found them so early in the wipe that they were selling for over 400 k before the price tanked a little bit. Like it was insane. The loot this wipe has felt the best out of so many wipes in the past. Like it, it just felt so much fun. The economy was extremely rapid, something we haven't seen since I would even say when you didn't have to have found and raid shit. Like the economy just traveled at a rate that I've never seen. And it's like this wipe was such a cool dynamic to see in the first two weeks when it comes to the overall just player base, how much they're enjoying the game, how much they're just actually making money, getting good loot and being able to run some decent gear. It's been a lot of fun, this wipe, and I, it's been reflected in some of the newer players, some of the more casual players, some of the comments that I see. There's a lot of people really enjoying this wipe, and I think that's because Battlestate didn't make us fucking struggle off the rip. There, There's so many other reasons, like feedback that they get. They can look at the analytical data for how many players are retained to this wipe to the next wipe, compare that to the eight month wipe, and they might see a really significant difference in maybe new accounts made, maybe retaining, you know, how many players go over into the next wipe, like what player played in the last week of wipe and then the first week of the new wipe. They can look at this data now and have it instead of an eight month wipe span, they can have it in a four month span. And it's going to be a lot of great data for Battlestate Games, and I really hope their marketing team and everything is fully analyzing all this data, every single wipe, and making the best decision, not only for us as a community, what we want, but for their pockets, because they just developed Arena. It looks really good. I think it's going to be coming out in the next four months. They're going to be making Russia 2028, which, in my opinion, has potential to be a Skyrim-level game of the year. You know, there's a lot riding on their success right now, and I think short wipes only help that. Maybe it makes them a couple more problems when it comes to a lot more tickets being submitted, but it's all worth it in the end, in my opinion. I think they're doing a lot of stuff right recently. I think there's been a fair bit more transparency. Um, you know, they haven't really released the cheater list in a while, and there's been a couple things they've kind of backtracked on a little bit, but overall... I'll take multiple steps forward with only a couple steps back. So, you know, that's pretty much all I, I wanted to say. I don't have scripts for my videos. I don't make scripts. The only script I've ever had for videos is a rough outline for TTP, which I wanted to bring back. And that's the Talk and Talk Off podcast, also known as the TT Pistol. Um, haven't done one of those in a while. But, you know, this is just what comes out of my head and my train of thought as it's coming out. Like, it, it's just, I think short wipes are a good thing. And, um, you know, I had to get to eight minutes somehow. So I appreciate you guys so much on a real note. I'm gonna upload this at like 930, go back to playing Starfield until like 630. And hopefully one of you guys left me a good video idea. I'll check that out, make that video, and then get back on Starfield again. So I appreciate you guys so much. But, uh, you know, I got places to be in galaxies to explore. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.